There's four, there's five or six of them. Y'all see this? There's like five or six bass with this guy. And these bass are just gonna be positioned near any isolated targets around these brim bits. Another one right here, guys. I see him right, right in front. Got him. Good one. There's another one with him too. It's a really good one with him. There's four, there's five or six of them. Y'all see this? There's like five or six bass with this guy. They're right there. Let me let me put this guy down real quick. I'm gonna throw a fluke back in there. Holy crap. They're right here. There's like six or seven of them, guys. Just wolf packing on this brim beds. <sighs> Look at that fish. What's up, guys? I've been fishing here for literally five minutes here on Beaver Lake. Throwing a little prop bait on some brim beds here and there was literally seven bass a bunch of them bigger than this one following this guy back to the boat after he bit it he just destroyed that prop bait i'm gonna put this guy in the live well real quick just to not spook the school and we're gonna get another fish Woo! god that is freaking sweet all i'm doing here is i'm just fishing in this little pocket here on beaver lake and right now the water temperature is 85 degrees on Beaver Lake. We're fishing here in the uh, middle of July. And you would think that most of the time on these hot summer days, you should be fishing offshore. But a lot of times you can come up on a full moon week like we have this week, throw a prop bait up shallow and target these bass that are feeding on these spawning bluegill that spawn during the full moon. So I'm gonna keep doing this for a while. That was awesome, dude. <laughs> Another one right here, guys. I see him right, right in front of me. There he is, got him. Another one right here. They're grouped up on this one little point here. A lot of times when you're fishing in the uh, summer on these brim bed bass, they'll wolf pack together. You'll find seven or eight fish kind of just roaming down these banks. And if you can find the right little stretch that has a big school of big wolf pack of bass, you can kind of catch a really big limit. So <sighs> yeah, all I'm doing guys is just casting down this bank here and there's uh, a lot of brim spawning in this pocket here. It's really shallow, it's like five feet of water and this lake's still a little bit flooded from this uh, spring. The lake was up 15 feet when the FLW tour came here in April and these fish are still kind of hanging around some of this flooded cover feeding on these bluegill. But oh, it's so awesome catching them on, on a topwater bait in the middle of July. It's the middle of the day. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Just got out here after work and you would never expect you could catch fish on topwater in crystal clear water. We have 15 feet visibility on this end of Beaver Lake. And I mean, these fish are just coming up and crushing them, watching them eat it. So the type of places you want to look for when you're trying to target bass on brim beds are these pockets in the backs of creeks that have a good amount of shallow water. You want a flat pocket that has some flooded cover and that gives these bluegill a place to spawn. And these bass are just gonna be positioned near any isolated targets around these brim beds. So like a flooded bush, uh, some flooded grass, or even just a lay down. And what I like to do is just work down these banks with a top water bait, like this prop bait that kind of imitates a bluegill that's kind of dying on the surface. And these fish will come up and just crush it. So when I'm fishing this prop bait, what I like to do is cast it out towards those isolated pieces of cover and then give it short little twitches and just kind of give that bait a little bit of action and let those props turn and then let it sit for three or four seconds. And the key to getting these cruising bass to react to a prop bait in the summertime is to really let that bait pause. If you work it too fast, those fish are not going to want to commit to it. So let that bait sit for three or four seconds between pops and you're going to get a lot more bites. <laughs> that fish came up and crushed that thing. <laughs> I'm actually catching a lot of fish this evening on this little prop bait. Uh, normally I don't catch that many bass doing this, but I'll take what I can get tonight. 
And another good reason to fish in the back of these creeks in the summertime when you're targeting brim beds is because a lot of these pleasure boaters will come by and make wakes and stir up the water in these uh, shallow pockets and it just makes them really muddy and the fish don't really like to chase brim in these muddy pockets and it makes it harder for them to see this prop bait too. So try to stick to clearer pockets in the back of the creeks. And fishing brim beds is one of my favorite techniques for deep, clear lakes in the summertime because on deep reservoirs like Lake Washita, Beaver Lake, Lake Lanier, places like that, a lot of these fish will move out really deep and they'll suspend over 70 and 80 feet of water and just kind of chase bait. And those fish can be really hard to locate. And so instead, I like to pick up a top water bait like this prop bait and just run the banks targeting these wolf packs of bass. They're roaming in the shallow water. And a lot of times these wolf packs will hold some of the biggest bass in the lake. And you can get on a really big bag if you hit the right banks. So it's not an easy technique to do and you're probably only fishing for five or six bites a day when you're doing this technique, but it can definitely be rewarding. Hey guys, so I just wanted to quickly go through the gear I'm using with this prop bait today. Again, this is the Lucky Craft Kelly J prop bait and it's in the clear water minnow color. And I really like these clear colored topwater baits in lakes with water clarity of more than five feet deep. And with this bait, I'm throwing it on a seven foot medium action bait casting rod. And this rod has a pretty fast tip, which helps me work this bait and also prevents those fish from uh, pulling the hooks out as easy. And I'm throwing that on a six three to one gear ratio bait casting reel with 14 pound monofilament line. And a lot of people like to throw topwater baits on braid, but I really prefer monofilament with this prop bait because it lets me twitch that bait just a little bit softer than braid does because it has more stretch than braid. Hey guys, I'm back at the boat ramp and I'm gonna wrap it up for the day. Didn't catch any giants, but I still hope you enjoyed this video on how to catch bass on deep clear lakes on these brim beds when you have a full moon. I uh, hope it helps you out next time you go fishing. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment if you have any questions about what I was doing. So we'll see you next time.